Hey, it's Ocean Student here, and today we're going to be starting a new series about JavaFX UI design, where we're going to be using the CSS functionality of JavaFX, where JavaFX is compatible and using CSS to create some, yeah, more or less all of the design visuals. So, I already have a working JavaFX application, and I have my sample of XML document connected to Scene Builder which I will also be using to change our CSS, at least to start with, where we just in this video is gonna be doing something very simple, change some colors, more or less. And then later on, we might actually be using some real CSS to create some style sheets and be changing all our like graphical user design a bit more. But now, just have a working program and there will be a link down in the description if you wanna know how to get JavaFX running and as well how to connect with Scene Builder. And I already have picked some colors. I will be using, so for colors, we're going to be using hexadecimal values for the colors. And to start with, what we're going to be working with quite a bit is this the JavaFX CCC <laughs> CSS area under properties, which allows us to change all the visuals more or less. So first of all, I just have a normal anchor pane in the back and let's just change the color of this anchor pane. If I can get, there we go, which we would do by grabbing. So whenever we click on style, we have a few different options where we can change all of these CSS, different stuff. But for now, we're just going to be talking about background color and we're just going to be adding a value. And in this case, it's a dark blue. So when we're going to be starting doing some more design picks, I will be adding another anchor pane at top, which I'm just going to fit on the side, which kind of be like a setup of a sidebar. And this one, I will change the background color as well. And let's make it a lighter blue. So it should be mentioned, I am a software engineering student and I'm definitely not a designer. So my designs might not be the prettiest, but <laughs> I'll do my best. And then let's add a box. So we're gonna be adding a V box. Just add it in the middle. And the middle, middle, there we go. And let's just add some buttons. And let's change some sizes. So if we look, for example, at this V box, we can see if we go into layout, that the size in this case is 100 by, let's make it by 300. So let's change the size of the box, which is the preferred width and the pref height. And we have the width be 100 as well. And we're going to change the height. So let's just do 200. Nah, that's too big. Let's do 75. And inside our V box, we're gonna add some spacings. So like just a small amount, then we're gonna control D to duplicate, create another, duplicate, create another button. No, actually wait, let's first change the color. So with our buttons, we have two colors. We have the text fill. And in the same way, as with the anger paints in the background, we have a style where we also can do a background color and let's make the buttons our other blue so my namings of colors as you might see is a bit random i think that's fine as mentioned i'm definitely not a designer but i'll do my best i like being creative but it might not be the prettiest thing you've ever seen let's make it wide that's actually not too bad add a few buttons we have a basic setup and what some people I have seen like to do is we can add a rectangle. So if we just want to add some graphical elements, for example, and what we can first of all, just change the color. So let's add some more design elements. Let's make a V-Box down a bit so i'm gonna click the v-box and let's just move it down a bit and let's we can use paints just to add some 
colored elements. So let's have a pane and let's make it fit. Right now we can't really see it because the color is invisible. But if we just have it right there and let's make it uh, this red color. Doesn't look too bad. And what some people sometimes like to do, what I like to do is what we can do with both of these, is we can add another style class and we can change we can change the background radius, which allow us to create these round squares, rounded corners. To kind of match the buttons, so let's make this one round to just add to add another style element, and we'll add some radius, and let's make this 15. And at least we can add some random text element, and I would make this text the white color as well. Just grab it and add a fill color. Let's make it a bit bigger. Just add like hello world. This doesn't really matter too much. I'll take this too big. And this is just how I would be modeling, just doing bits and dots. Let's make it a bit right there. And what I like to do with this one to add some kind of flavorable element and inside the layout we can change the rotation so we can kind of make it like that and like that i don't know if that looked good but it's more conceptual behind it like that for example and then we would have some stuff but let's just save it actually try running it and see how it looks so it looks okay it's definitely not the best but think of it as just a basic uh, setup but this is the basics of how we change the colors and a quick look look into changing like the shapes and routing the corners of squares or paints specifically in this case so this is the basics of javafx ui design with css where we inside scene builder uses their JavaFX CSS area to modify our elements and then later on we're going to be adding some style sheets where we're going to actually be using some CSS to change them more dramatically. But this is just a basic introduction. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.